Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Casleth. I'm the founder of the Bedford Breast Center and the head of Casleth Plastic Surgery and committed deeply to great reconstructive results. Hi, I'm Dr. Heather Richardson. I'm one of the breast specialists at Bedford Breast Center and I am the originator of the Goldilocks mastectomy. SWIM is a new invention of myself and Dr. Richardson's. What our problem was that SWIM solves was that many women have breast cancer and need mastectomy and they don't want an implant. And sometimes they're actually so big breasted that when you take the breast out of what covers the breast, the skin and the subcutaneous fat, I have so much leftover skin and subcutaneous fat, you can actually make a whole breast out of it. And this is what SWIM is designed to solve, making a breast out of the leftover breast after the mastectomy is done without an implant. The term Goldilocks uh, came from the fact that there were these two extreme options, one of amputation, another of full complicated reconstruction, and yet there was sort of a middle ground that could borrow from both extremes and create sort of a, a third option that had advantages that the two extremes didn't. So what Goldilocks is, is an invention of Dr. Richardson's, and Goldilocks was the first stage of literally after a mastectomy was, was uh, performed, just piecing the breast together in a very simple way. The scars look like a breast reduction and it leaves what we call a breast mound. So it's a shape is about right. And unlike a traditional mastectomy where the scar goes across like this, it actually leaves a nice shape with hidden scars. We have taken it a step further with the addition of Dr. Castle's genius, um, who could appreciate that um, when we first wrote the paper and described this procedure, um, taking the bottom and the top and separate them and folding them in this sort of fashion, if the nipple is kind of in between the two areas, we couldn't really um, conceptualize, well, how do we keep the nipple if everything's kind of, if, if the top is going to the bottom and the nipple's sort of in between. And Dr. Kasselith, um said there's a way to do it. There's a way to keep the, the nipple um, associated with the skin and sort of maneuver the tissue underneath. So that became the swim flap edition. Goldilocks turned into swim when I got involved. So Heather's Goldilocks closure was frankly uh, so pioneering and was fantastic. And then of course, I helped her with one and I'm like, why aren't we saving the nipple? Why aren't we making this look like a breast reduction? You know, if the cancer's not anywhere near the nipple, we can of course save all of the skin. So women are now able to have a swim flap, which means have a breast shaped breast, there's no breast tissue in it. Have a nipple and areola, yay, it looks normal. And it looks like a really good breast reduction. And meanwhile, it cures cancer and creates a complete mastectomy. So it's a great merge of the right thing for the right patient. The right patient for SWIM is right now about 80, 90% of the country. It's women that are fairly large breasted, they might have extra fat or weight in the breast, and also the same patient is at high risk of reconstruction with implants or doesn't want additional surgery somewhere else on their body to steal fat from another location. Another group that really likes this surgery is people who really just don't want an implant. You know, because an implant has to be changed every 10 to 15 years. And so I have quite a few women that they have a smaller reconstruction. So you have these cute AB ballerina boobs when they're done. No implant though. So long-term, no maintenance, all yours, all natural. And, um, and it is, has the appearance of a normal small breast, even though there's no breast there. So a lot of women um, are using this just so they have another option for reconstruction.